What's up guys? Welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have the supper, which is supposed to be like a short little adventure puzzle game. Oh. The supper. Blood everywhere. Bite-sized game by Octavi Navarro. Hopefully I didn't butcher his name too much. Navarro. Navarro. I didn't read too much about it, like the story-wise, because I wanted to figure out in the game, but. Looks like it could possibly be pretty dark. Do I have like little walking canes? Psst, Miss Appleton. Wake up! Looks like a zombie, dude. Scary. Oh, those are peg leg. What the heck? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? There's no time to rest. Look at the time. Oh, no. Customers will be arriving any moment now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Alright. Special sauce. What's this? Embers. Swordfish tail. Oh, I can, like, touch things. Okay. I need to light the candle somehow. It would seem. I know it's dark in here. Some light will make this place much more inviting. Is there light in here? Can I take the embers and set like a... What is this? It's got like a, a candle looking thing on it. Hmm. What's this do? Nothing. Oh, that- Oh, shoot! <laughs> Crap! Give me light! Alright. Where'd that light at, though? Wooden cart. Where's our customers at? We can steal their light. That'd be kind of cool, right? What's up, man? No time to hang out with your friends, Miss Appleton. What? We have work to do. Ah, right, dang it. Why am I walking on little plungers? It's quite strange. He doesn't know what to do with that lever. I'm so confused. What you want from me? Ding dong. Hey. Can't reach. What are we missing here? Oh, these tong things. Give me that. Okay, do I actually have to like click the tongs and then... Okay, yeah, okay, I got you. I got this figured out now. We're in this to win this, Miss Appleton. Yes, great success. Now I take the embers and we light the candles. And we don't set the house on fire. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Yeah. We did it. Anybody hungry? Ring the doorbell. Time for a walk, Miss Appleton. I smell flesh clients coming this way. Why don't you go make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Ah, oh, the special sauce. Let's go check on that. Mmm, smells delicious. You hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. Alrighty. I'm ready to work. Do you think it could be them? Who's them? What's up, guys? Oh, these guys are really strange looking, especially the Cthulhu Idrich horror thing. Something, something. Look, the chest. Treasure. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. 
I think he's got like a brain sucker on the back of his head. Holy crap. So what would the gentleman like to start with? <gasps> oh, a spicy red swordfish. A personal favorite, a mouth watering de delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. Well, okay, we'll do his first. Do I have to ask them all? Oh. Okay. He wants a whole arm. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right, you were wrong. Okay. He wants... Excellent choice! Pigeon a la sauce rosé is our chef's specialty. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course all served with our secret delicious secret sauce. Come on Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipe list on the kitchen wall if you have any problem remembering them. <gasps> Alright. Let's figure this out then, I guess. Wild pigeon covered with special sauce. Where am I gonna get a pigeon from? I don't know where all these ingredients are, to be honest with you. Do I have to go find them in town or something? Who's got some things that I need? What's up, fisherman? Oh, well then. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Oh, that's dark. Hey, we got a boot. We're probably gonna need that. Thanks, Pete. What a wonderful journey. This is a creepy game, to be honest with you. Quite strange. I got a wet- oh, give me that, pigeon. I need something to grab the pigeon with. Ho ho ho! Gotcha, buck. Perfect. That's the main ingredient for Pigeon Supreme a la sauce rosé. Now let's finish the dish. Well, we got one of them done. Hey, we cooked it. We're so good at this. Let's go! Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. All right. We did it. Hey, man. Bon appetit, Mozart. One down. Hello? Why do you eat like that? Oh. Oh, he's dead. Well, that went well. You can tell by that pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry, they are used to pass. They are used to pass out in taverns. They won't know if he stopped breathing. All right, we're doing good. We're killing people. Nice. Probably need this for something. What's the next thing? We're oh, I can use the scissors to cut off the swordfish tail. The whole. That thing's creepy as hell, though. Third fish tail, one chili pepper. Are you kidding, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. All right. Add one slimy tongue, one plump human hand. Oh, I know how to get that. That doesn't sound like a great idea. Can I cut his hand off? All right, Pete, we might need your hand, my dude, if you're still out here. Ah, 
Nice, we did it. Hooray. Trap door, captain's cabin. Oh, you got a human hand. I'll take that. Hmm, I think I know this guy. Let's me taste his blood. Sip. Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Got him. Give me that hand, though. I can't see anything in here. Why? I need his hand. Let me in. That's crap. It sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> that. The seedling looks completely parched. We need to find. Oh, I could have got water outside, I guess. Maybe I can jug it here. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Yay! That's how that works. Genius. We're doing it. She's pretty nimble for a lady that walks on plungers. Much skills. I know, man. Give me your hand. It's needed. Mm, I don't know where I'm gonna get the human hand at. Oh, uh, I'm dumb. We're not doing the human hand yet, obviously. Perfect, those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Hooray! Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be delivered. Yay. Who wants it? You want it. Bon appetit! Oh, he likes it. Oh, got him. And he's dead. Hi. Yeah, oh yes, a satisfied stomach. The delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Haha, <laughs> do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Ho 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 ho. Thanks, man. You're next, sword boy. That special sauce is really something. I wonder what that lever's for. Well, I got that. What do we need with the human hand? We need a human hand and something else. One slimy tongue covered with... What about that tongue? Yeah, give me that. Thank you. What? She finally did something? Hell yeah. I thought I tried to pick that up like 10 times, but I guess not. Alright. Ooh, we did it! God, that was kicking my butt. I could not figure it out. I thought I tried that, but it wouldn't take it. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Yeah, I got you, fam. Hand and tongue stew, an exotic treat. Bon Appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Cartilaginous? I don't know how to say that. Was it good, oh. fam? <gasps> Dead. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great! Now let's clean up all the, this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. What? Be patient, Miss Appleton. He's not hungry. How am I supposed to clean up this mess? Maybe I'll press the lever now? 
Let's try that. Oh, everything's red. Can't move. Oh, I can't go to the left. Pete! Oh crap, what happened to the boat? Well, damn. Oh, nice. Good idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. What a genius. Dum de dum. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of. Oh, here you are. <laughs> and then we press the lever. We finally figured out what the lever was for. We never used a grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Oh, holy crap. Hey! The secret sauce. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. What about the treasure? Oh, it's a ghost. What's up, fam? Oh, it's him. He was getting his revenge. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. Aw. So many good memories of you and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. Now we murder people. Oh god. When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. Oh, and they ate her legs. I swear I didn't steal that golden nugget from them. I won it fair and square. Aw. Kinda of sad. Got what you deserved, you jackass. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please find a quiet place to bury my bones near the well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Aw. Hmm. Well, at least he got some revenge. Doo, 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 doo. The Supper. That was a pretty cool game. Oh man, that dang wax hand though. I don't know. Oh, that was that had me for a good bit. I thought I tried the wax, but I guess I didn't. But if you like videos like these guys, please like and subscribe. Um, written and directed by Octary Navarro. Art, programming, and music by Octary Navarro. Editing and proofreading Lauren Davidson and Joel Murray. Made with Unity Adventure Creator by Chris Burton. Sound effects, freesound.org. Narrator font by Dieter Steffman. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Thank you for playing. Oh, yeah. The pigeon. I liked when we booted him. If you enjoyed this game, little game, please consider supporting the developer. So we can keep creating games. You can do so by buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your generosity. Heart, 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 heart. Alright, guys. Bye!